Hello, and welcome to FORM, a podcast that explores the artistry and architecture behind communication. I'm Silver Wallace. And I'm Kate Douglas. This season, we spoke to so many incredible artists that we couldn't fit them all in. But some moments were so good, we had to share them with you. This is one of our favorite moments from our conversation with director and choreographer Sam Pinkleton. Heads up, like all our conversations, this segment is unfiltered. This episode contains explicit language and mature content. So listen at your discretion as we aim to fully form mindful ideas and language. I just had a conversation about this like an hour ago. Uh, I joke often uh, about how my, what I do well is, and this is the language that I use, uh, trick people into making things that they didn't want to make and trick people. And like, I'm, I'm making a project right now at a university and I'm, I'm basically making it my mission to trick people into writing music and choreographing dances. And I feel confident in my ability to do that because of the many very specific ways of communicating and exercises and things like that and like how to deploy them and when and yada, yada, yada. Um, And then I take like two steps back from that and I'm like, "Eh, it's kind of fucked up. Uh, And I guess I I can only answer this for myself because I I think that actually manipulation is is a huge part of successful communication in what I do. I'm going to say like, not like in my marriage, but in, in, in my work, um, because, because you have to like, like, I don't want to show all the cards necessarily. And, (laughs) but, uh, but for me, the thing that the sort of counterbalance to that, um, anxiety and, and also to that ugliness, uh, is a kind of radical honesty about the fact that I'm manipulating you. And, and I think that's a little bit tied to being, um, self-deprecating, which is both true for me. Like I am very self-deprecating and I do in my way hate myself, but also it's a tool that I know works. Like it's a, de- it's a, it's an equalizer. It's a, it, it, like I, I am, I know the power that I carry into a room often and, and being so, A, like I, usually when I'm getting, I mean it. Um, if I know that I'm, I'm trying to trick people into making a thing or doing a thing or going over here, it is, this is sort of like a recent piece of learning, but I, it is, it is usually the most successful if I'm like, Hey y'all, here's the end game. This is the thing that we're trying to get to, whether that's a conversation, whether that's a dance, whatever. In order to get there, I'm going to ask you to go through these things and just like go with me. And it's going to like feel like uh, some sort of hideous mind control. And I ask you to uh, like either be okay with that for 20 minutes or like raise your hand if you're not or like I I just try to be like very, very open and frankly, like light. Like, I just think like when you can choose a, a kind of a not horrific, heavy, dreadful way of delivering something, I like to. Now, sometimes that means coding it in layers of bullshit, as Silver was mentioning earlier, so that the thing that you're trying to get is buried in there, which I'm trying to get better at. But as a, as a rule, which doesn't always work, the more I can expose the process, the better it goes. And the more people trust me, frankly. Like, I've... I, I, I've been experimenting a little bit with like how the thing I do translates virtually. Kate, you know, a little bit, cause you did a thing with me. Um, and, and frankly, that was a communication experiment, like more than anything. And the, and I continue to do it. And I also continue to be like, 
my thing is actually an in-person thing and I'm better at communicating in person and I'll see you guys on the other side and I'm going to the beach. Uh, <laughs> but I, I, I find like, I find people respond better and uh, frankly, more interesting stuff gets made if I am really honest about what I'm doing and what I'm trying to do and whether it'll work or maybe it won't work or like, I'm going to ask you to do something stupid, but here's why. Um, I will only, I think that like, ta-da, really only works for like 15-year-olds in Texas. And like, I want to treat them better than that. Like, I want, I want them to know that like, they are better than ta-da. And so I try to resist that even if I know it's going to get, even if, it, even if it's not going to give me the immediate satisfaction that Tada gives you. of like, oh, I had no idea you were taking us there. Like, I don't know. I kind of wish that everybody was empowered to be like, where are you taking us? Thank you for listening in. I'm Kate Douglas. And I'm Silver Wallace. Check out our Patreon for more content at patreon.com slash form a podcast. This episode was mixed and produced by me, Kate Douglas. Theme song is by the amazing Warp Trio. Follow us on social at Form Podcast.